This video will show you how the Fluke 729 automatic pressure calibrator performs a heart calibration from a downloaded task. So uh, this unit already has a downloaded task from our software which DPC Track 2 or uh, Pearl Cal V5 can be used. Um, first thing you want to do is connect up. So you've got the 729 uh, with the 4020 milliamp jacks connected up to the transmitter as well as the pressure line from the calibrator to the transmitter. Next thing you want to do is you want to vent this thing out, zero your pressure, and then let's go ahead and press heart to get things going. Once you press heart, you need to enable your 250 ohm resistor and enable loop power. Transmitter is now seen by the 729. Press continue. It's going to go ahead and uh, look at all the information about that device. And now we're connected and ready to calibrate. So let's go ahead and find that downloaded task that we just uh, sent down to the calibrator from DPC Track 2. So I'll just scroll down here, find task by tag, and there it is. So you see it's uh, a PT100, there's a serial number, and it, if it matches up, it'll show up on the screen and is ready to go. So we can press F4 to recall it. And notice the uh, Fluke 729 already has the heart information about the device. It knows it's a pressure in, current out, 0 to 100 PSI range. Press continue. Uh, automatically has set the tolerance, in this case at 0.5%. Test strategy was set to be a three up test with an auto settling time of three seconds between test points, and the transfer function is set for linear, uh, not square root. Press F4, and now you're ready to go. So go ahead and press F4 to auto test, and the 729 is going to go to work. So again, this is a 3-up test, so the Fluke 729 is going to take readings at 0, 50, and 100 PSI. As it gets up close to the set point, uh, you'll notice the pressure will stop and then the automatic regulator will kick in and fine-tune to the exact set point. Hold on to it for the 3-second delay we put in and then uh, take the... Uh, 40 20 milliamp reading before moving on to the final test point. Once that final reading has been made, then you'll get the results shown on the screen here. Uh, in this case, it passed calibration, so we've completed the uh, documenting. Press F4 for done. Notice the tag ID and the serial number are already included in. Uh, it knows that from the task and verified by the heart communication. We can go to user list and select the user that did the, uh, the task. Press F4 for done. Uh, if it was out of spec, we could go ahead and do hard adjust to the uh, 40 20 milliamp trim uh, as well as, uh, if necessary, trim to applied values for the sensor. Once you complete that, go ahead and do your as left to do your uh, complete the as found and as left test results. Press done, and we have completed our calibration. So once you have completed your uh, calibration, uh, you can go ahead and review the results in memory. So if you go to setup and then you can scroll down to manage test results, press enter. Now you can see uh, the task 
the test result that we've just completed on that PT100 transmitter. If you press enter here, you can look at the actual test results to verify before you then can upload that test result to software such as DPC Track 2 or ProCal V5.